Hey guys, this is Michael Gass with PDS Equipment. Another how-to video coming to you today from our portable PDS recording studio, which is what a um, tripod and my cell phone, I think. But anyway, today we're going to be talking about producing a valid pixel white plate in raster link, specifically talking about stray white pixels. Have you ever had this happen? You create a valid pixel white plate, you print the job, you look at it only to find that there are around the edge of your image area stray white pixels that spoil the job. So today we're going to talk about why that is and what we can do to fix it. Let's get into it. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. We have an image pulled up, medical symbol. Let's say we're going to print that. So we make a white plate and we print it. And instead of printing it and showing you what would happen to save time, I'm just going to simulate printing it by adding a background. So if we printed this with a valid pixel white plate on this uh, burgundy background, we would see all of these white pixels. And you're thinking, well, what's going on here? Because my image looks great, looks good. And yet when I print it, I get this. Sure, it's sure you've probably seen that. So the question is, why does it happen and what can we do about it? In this video, we are dealing with raster or dot based images. If this was a vector based file, we would have a different approach and be talking about different issues. But so today we're working with raster or dot based images. We're also going to be working in Adobe Illustrator CC and Photoshop CC. Uh, that's the files and tools that we use at PDS to train people. If you have Corel Draw, it's a great product. We just don't use it. But most of the things that we're doing here, there is an equivalent way to do it in Corel Draw if that's the tool of your choice. So why did this happen and what can we do about it? When this file was created, if it had been changed from one format to another, the dots have to be interpreted and reinterpreted. Lots of things can happen. But one thing that happens on a raster-based image is if you get out here, we've got nice, crisp, white, predictable. If we get down in here, we've got our color. But there's a transition zone right around our image. And in that transition zone, instead of having pure white or obvious color, we've got some transition pixels that are not going to be white and they're not going to be color. They're going to be off white, obviously. So when we create our valid pixel white plate, Rasterlink interprets white as CMYK0000, which means 0% of all four colors, or if it's an RGB, it's looking for 255, 255, 255, which is the RGB equivalent to white. If it sees, say, 254, 254, 254, or 253, 255, 255, something close to white but not white, our eye is going to interpret it as white, but Rasterlink is going to interpret it as color. It's going to then add a valid pixel white plate. And we're going to have stray pixels all the way around that are going to make our job not look good and probably spoil our job. So the question is now, what can we do about it? So I want to show you another file. So I'm going to switch over to another file. This is that same file after we've cleaned it up. So this is before we cleaned it up. This is after we cleaned it up. How did we do that? So we're going to show you that right now. So first thing I'm going to do is close these guys out. And I'm going to Alt-Tab over to Illustrator. Excuse me, Photoshop from Illustrator. So we have three files we're going to be working with today. A medical file, a tractor, and a fish. So the first thing we're going to do is the fish because it's the easiest of the three. So the first thing we want to do is go to Window and go to Layers. And we want our Layers channel, our Layers window to be open. Move it out of the way. Now we're going to go over here 
and we're going to click on our magic wand tool it's the second one down and if our magic wand tool is not shown let's say your quick select tool is shown we're going to right click right here and choose magic wand what the magic wand tool does is when you click on a pixel it selects every pixel of that same value and there are some tolerances and some things that we can set and we'll talk about that as we get into it but the first thing we're going to do is simply click and as you can see it selected all the white pixels around this fish so now what we're going to do is we're going to erase all of those white pixels how do we do that we go over here to our layers we've got layers channels and paths make sure layers is selected then come down here to this which is our add a mask tool and we're going to click that but we're going to show you something if i click it right now it saves my white and deletes everything else control z that's not what we want to do we want to reduce we want to erase the white and keep everything else so how we do that is i'm going to hold down the alt key and click and now i've erased everything that i had selected so once we do that we're going to hit file we're going to hit save as and we're going to save this as a pdf and when you're working with clear a pdf is a great format to stay in so i'm going to save this as a pdf file And it's going to ask me a couple questions, and I'm going to do a couple clicks, and I'm done. I'm going to hit Alt-Tab. I'm going to come back over here to Illustrator, and I'm going to open that file up. File, Open, Small New PDF. So now I've got my fish that we just saw. So now, if we bring this into Raster Link, create a valid pixel white plate, and print it, what's it going to look like? And the way we're going to simulate that is we're going to simply draw a box around our fish we're going to make our box red and click ok and click object arrange send to back and i know there's some shortcuts to do this but i want you to see on the display what we're doing so now we see our fish and as you can see, we've got a good, crisp image around our fish. So that's how we do it. So let's uh, close this guy out. Alt-Tab back over to this, and we're going to go to our tractor. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing for our tractor. So I'm going to click, and as you can see, I've now outlined my tractor. Well, I've got a problem. What's my problem? I've got inside this uh, steering wheel, I've got inside the wheels, I've got through the engine where you can see a little daylight back there. All of these areas uh, need to be eliminated as well. So how do we do that? So I'm going to click off to deselect. I'm going to come back up here to this button, which is our contiguous button. So when it's pressed, I only select contiguous, which it was for the fish, but now I'm going to deselect it. So now when I click, it's going to select all my white pixels, whether they are connected or not. So there's a couple of options up here that we need to talk about. Our point sample is going to just select the point that you touch. If you check any of these, you're selecting a bigger sample size. I usually leave it on point, but uh, if you don't get the results you're looking for, you can change it to one of the others. Tolerance. What your tolerance does is it is a variable. Now, th this is done in RGB, so my tolerance is going to go from 1 to 255 because that is our range of colors when we're in the RGB world. Your RGBs all go from 0 being dark to 255 being light. So, 
We also have this, which is smooth edge transitions or not smooth. I, in general, am going to use smooth transitions. It's usually going to make things look a little bit better. Tolerance, what is that? So, what that's going to do is that's going to determine how wide a range of uh, dots it's going to let me select. So the smaller the number, the stricter it's going to be. So if my tolerance is zero, I'm only going to grab white. And so you can see that uh, somewhere along in here, uh, someone did some work and left the line. And you can see as I get close to the edges of the tractor, I'm going to zoom in. You can see I'm not getting real close because of that buffer of transition zone that we talked about. So as I raise that number up, I'm going to go up to 40. Click off to deselect, click back on to select again. So when I go up to 40, now as I zoom in, everything is nice and tight and defined, and that really looks good. Except I've got one problem. I'll show you what that is. I've got some white in these headlamps, and now it has selected those. That's not what we want. So we have to find the um, best number. So we're going to go down to 10. Click off. Click back on. And you can see at 10, it worked a lot better. But you can still see a couple of places where we still got white. So I'm going to go down to 8, click off, click back on. And at 8, looks pretty good. We do have a few right here. So we're going to go down to 7, click, and I think we can go with that. So now I'm going to zoom out just so we can see it. And now we're going to go ahead and eliminate the white. Then hover over our add a mask, push down the alt button, and click. And now we have effectively eliminated all our white pixels. So now we're going to save this. And again, we always want to save them as a PDF. If you find another way that works, that's fine. I'm just trying to keep it real simple. Uh, PDFs work very well with transparent backgrounds. That's why when I'm working with transparents, I usually stay in the PDF world. So now we're going to hit Alt-Tab, come back over here to Illustrator, File, Open, Tractor 2 PDF. Zoom in, just a, zoom out just a little bit. plate or this box I'm not crazy about burgundy on a red tractor so we're going to pretend like we're outside and we're going to give it a great green grass look going to go to object arrange send to back and now we can see what we've got and this looks um this looks pretty good I think we can go with this got a few pixels peeking out But I think overall that, that, that we can live with this. So now we're going to go back and show you one more. So we showed you the fish, which we were able to do using the uh, contiguous. We showed you the tractor, not using the contiguous. And now we're going to go to the medical. So you look at this, and we're going to go ahead and push the contiguous button. And we're going to make a selection. Well, obviously that doesn't work because we didn't get these areas inside. So we think, well, we're going to need the contiguous push. So we push the contiguous, and we select it. Well, now we've got a problem because this image is so light, we've got a bunch of areas that it's going to select 
and that's going to give us a problem. So we, we want those areas, but we don't want these. So what are we going to do? Well, let's try to play with our tolerance and see if we can get it there. So we're going to go up to 40 and hit Enter, click off, click back on. Well, that gave us a really smooth border, but that made this worse. So let's go lower. So we're going to go down to a 1, and we're going to click. Well, we got two problems now. We've still got some areas where we're picking up, but we're also really losing and getting a pretty poorly defined area with a lot of white peeking out. So neither one's going to work. So what are we going to do? This is what we're going to do. We're going to go here and we're going to click the contiguous. Going to select our file. I'm going to go up on my tolerance to 40. And if we were to zoom in, we're going to see that everything is nice and tight and, and even and predictable, and we like that. Now we're going to go into this area. We're going to hit Shift and Select. So now you see the third way that we can clean up a file when contiguous doesn't work and not selecting contiguous doesn't work. We will just manually select them. So I've zoomed in, going to get down in here. And just to show you, if you ever click something and um, you didn't mean to, just hit Control-Z. That one will delete. Hold down your Shift key and, and go again. So if you make a wrong selection, you don't have to undo everything. Just hit Control-Z and then make your correct selection. So now... We've got everything selected. I think that looks pretty good. When we zoomed in, everything looked nice and tight. Hover over our Add Mask. Push the Alt key. Click. And we've got it selected. So now we're going to do File. Save As. Medical 1. And again, we're going to make everything a PDF. Lots of clicks. Right, so now we're going to bounce back over to Illustrator. And we're going to open Medical One PDF. And how does it look? So we're going to paste our image. And as you can see, everything looks nice and crisp and clean. And we could go with this all day long. So that's how you clean up a white plate in Illustrator. So basically, you're going to bring it in Photoshop, delete all your white pixels, bring it into Illustrator, put a box behind it to simulate what's going to happen when you do create and print your white plate. If you drop a white, if you drop a colored box behind this, and it looks nice and crisp, you're going to be just fine. So that's how we correct stray pixels on a white plate and how we make sure ahead of time that it's going to look nice and clean. I hope that helps, guys.